story to tell. Powerful firepower, high maneuverability, combat capability in all terrain and weather conditions. Attack helicopters are being used more and more all over the world today. Amongst the most powerful attack helicopters in the world, it is impossible not to mention the A129 Mangusta. The A129 was produced by Augusta of Italy, later Augusta Westland. It was the first specialized attack helicopter designed and built entirely in Western Europe, at the request of the Italian army in the mid-1970s. The A129 is also the first attack helicopter in the world to have an advanced digital MIL STD-1553B data bus, which enhances the automation of the helicopter and significantly reduces the crew workload. The idea of an Italian army attack helicopter was conceived in 1972. At the time, the West German Army had a similar need, which led to a joint project initiated between the Italian company Augusta and the West German MBB company. However, the West German involvement was short-lived, after which they developed their own Tiger helicopter. Left alone, Augusta continued the project. In 1978, Augusta officially began the design process for what would become the A129. The first flight of the new helicopter took place in 1983, and since then, mass production has begun. So far, about 60 A129s have been produced. A derivative of the A129, T129 ATAK Attack, is being developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries in cooperation with Augusta Westland. The T129 will be produced for the Turkish Army and for export customers. In terms of design, the A129 shares many similarities with Augusta's previous A109 utility aircraft. Looking at the appearance of the A129, one may be reminded of the American AH-64 Apache tank killer, a design that seems to have become a standard for attack helicopters. The two crew members are seated in tandem, the weapons officer sitting in the front cockpit, and the pilot in the rear a little higher. The rear part of the A129 is taken from the A109 and incorporated into an entirely new forward section. The fuselage of the A129 is very angular and armoured for ballistic protection. The composite rotor blades are also able to withstand hits from 23mm cannon fire. The A129 has a length of 12.28 metres or 40.29 feet a height of 3.35 meters or 10.99 feet, an empty weight of 2.5 tons and a maximum takeoff weight of 4.6 tons. Power is provided by a pair of Rolls-Royce Gem 2 1004D turboshaft engines delivering 890 horsepower each, driving a four-bladed main rotor and a two-bladed tail rotor. The engines have been designed to incorporate infrared heat signature reduction measures the Italian helicopter can reach a maximum speed of 278 km per hour and a stable cruise speed of 229 km per hour. Key protective measures incorporated onto the A129 include the Electronic Warfare and SIAP self-protection suites. Elements of the mission interface systems and the onboard software integrated onto later aircraft were produced by Celex Galileo. The A129 is equipped with infrared night vision systems and is capable of operating day or night and in all weather conditions. Laser systems are fitted onto newer aircraft for range finding and target designation purposes. The A129 can also laser designate targets for other friendly aircraft to attack. On the AW129D, Raphael Advanced Defense Systems Top Light 3 site is used as the primary targeting system. It is able to act as a FLIR and has both manual and automatic target tracking modes. Top Light also provides greater detection and identification range than the 1970s era Helito sensor it replaced. In 1998, Israel Aircraft Industries formally partnered with Augusta to offer various avionics and weapons upgrades to potential A129 operators. 
Various technologies have since been proposed and implemented on Italian A129s. The A129 can be used in the anti-armor, armed reconnaissance, ground attack, escort, fire support and anti-aircraft roles. For the ground attack mission, the helicopter can employ various armaments, such as up to eight Hellfire missiles. In the air-to-air -air role, the FIM-92 Stinger missile was certified for use in 2003. The A129 can also be equipped with 81mm or 70mm unguided rockets. An M1973 barrel 20mm cannon is also installed onto a nose-mounted Otto Malara TM197B turret. By 2014, the Spike ER, a fourth-generation anti-tank missile, had been added to the A129's arsenal. The Mangusta usually operates in conjunction with the AB412 or AB205 helicopters, which have been used in various combat operations, including participating in UN peacekeeping operations in the Republic of Macedonia, Somalia and Angola. A129 is suitable for the role of peacekeeping and very suitable for activities in hot climates with high reliability and remarkable flexibility. A129 helicopters were deployed in Iraq to provide close air support for Italian forces in Nasiriyah. Several A129 aircraft have also been deployed in Afghanistan to support in-theater operations by Italian and Allied forces. In March 2016, the Italian government announced that it was deploying four A129 attack helicopters and four NH Industries NH-90 transport helicopters along with 130 personnel to the Kurdistan region of Iraq to perform combat search and rescue missions as part of a multinational effort to help combat Islamic State militants within the region and specifically to protect the Mosul Dam. The current A129 versions are still being upgraded by Italy. Upgrade packages will focus on increasing the endurance, speed, situational awareness and information processing capabilities of the A129. Other goals include reducing the pilot workload and integrating the aircraft with future tactical drones. A reported alternative that has been reviewed and rejected is the replacement of the A129 with an attack-oriented variant of the newer Augusta Westland AW149 helicopter. Upgrading the current A129 is considered to be less risky, saving money and development time. My video of the Augusta A129 Mangusta ends here. Thanks for watching. The video was completed with the voice of Jeremy Hopkins. Thank you very much. How do you feel about this video? You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.